Hiya. Hiya. One of my favorite things I'm so grateful for. So what are you grateful for? What are the things in your life that you are grateful for? Did you know that being grateful flips the switch? It flips the switch spiritually. It gets you going. It tells your spirit. It tells the universe. I am liking what you've given me. No matter what, you must find gratitude in it. When you wake up in the morning, before your feet hit the floor, stay in bed and just lie there and say, I am so grateful for this pillow supporting my head. I am so grateful that my eyes are open and you'll notice your energy starts to rise. Your vibration starts to rise. Your inner man, your God self, the silence starts to flow through and that is what you're feeling. You're feeling your own natural energy yield rising up. Another way of being in gratitude is simply lying there counting backwards from five or 25 and slowly get up. 25, 24, 23, 22, 21. And you'll feel your energy rising. You'll feel, you're feeling a little better about yourself. No matter what's going on, you can find that nugget of gratitude and tell the universe, I am grateful. I am so grateful to be alive, to be on planet Earth. Because God in you, the God that is within you, is perfect. And so are you. Acknowledging that perfection, that completeness. And when you're coming to God for a prayer or you answer, or you're looking for an answer to your prayer, you're praying from a full cup because everything is within you and God has everything. And you're just manifesting, you're just choosing what you will serve that day, or what you will serve or your career choice. And you want to be happy about it because, again, staying in that elevated vibrational mood keeps things moving forward. When you're down on a lower vibration, sadness or depression, which is fine because then you have one end of the stick and blissful joy and love is at the other end, it just have you to slowly start moving towards being happier being peaceful, calm, joy, and you're reaching love. So you really want to be cognitive of that and awaken to it. This is a beautiful time to be alive on this earth. So many things are breaking apart, are transitioning, are changing, and you get to be a witness to it. You get to be a part of it to create the reality that you want and allow it. It starts in, inward. And when you sit there, or even when you're walking, sometimes when you're driving, don't do it. Some people do it naturally when they're driving, they create. Because the mind is distracted. It's not so focused on the issue at hand. You want to do different things to bring you closer to your true self. And one of the ways is just visiting my website, I Don't Want Okra. I Don't Want Okra is a super duper fast way to get to your inner being. Because whatever you don't want, on the other hand, it is what you do want. So you're getting closer to your inner self very fast, very fast. I don't want this, so what do you want now? You want something positive, you want more love, you want a more abundance a new relationship, a more fulfilling relationship. So there, the want is always going to be there. That desire is always going to be there for improve and improve. So if you act on it now or if you act on it later, you're going to act on it because that desire in you will be there. Or as the Bible says, a man perish because of lack of knowledge. And if you choose to maintain your present knowledge as it is, that is where you're going to be. 
but gratitude really uh, flips the switch. Even when you find a penny, I know when I find a penny, I get excited. And I always say thank you. I am so grateful for this abundance that has come into my life. And I know more is coming. It's on the way. And using the word know, K-N-O-W, is signifying your inner man, God within you. That it is beyond trust. I know that I know that I know that everything is going to be all right. Everything is all right. Everything will continue to be. And you know that more is on the way and is coming. So that is what you want to do. You want to signify to the universe, to that knowing in you that you are, that you have belief, you have a trust, and now you have a knowing. You're at level three. And you know that you know no matter what, everything is going to be all right. Everything is all right. You're bringing that which in the future, which there really isn't any future, it's only the now. So you're living from now. This is what you want now. So you just continue to revel in gratitude. You can journal your gratitude. You can create a journal gratitude. I've created a wonderful journal, journal called My Wonderful Life. Events and things that I may find along the way, people I encounter, relationships or conversations that really uplifted me. And if you're not into writing, sometimes just taking a moment and reflecting on your day. And those things that really elevated you, highlight those. And those that may have challenged you to become more elevated in your spirituality, wrap them in love and send them on their way. Or you can say, you're my friend. And I love you. And I know you're on your journey too. And together we're going to arrive at the same place. Maybe at the same time. But definitely, definitely we will arrive. So there is so much love for you here. There is great love for you here. Continue to do your gratitude. You can create a gratitude journal for everything that you're grateful for. And be reminded, the universe creates and destroys that which no longer serves the higher good. It is let go released, surrendered, so more of good can come your way. Continue on. Be appreciative. Now, appreciation is a little higher elevation that um, almost nothing is excluded. You appreciate it for the small things in life, very small, and gratitude sometimes. I'm grateful, but I'm grateful, but appreciation I'm, I'm appreciative I'm alive I, you know the very breath although a limb may be missing money whatever things out of whack out of alignment I am still appreciative because I know I know I know that God got this God is with me and as long as we learn to relax learning to count down from 25 to 1 or if you don't have time for that 5 4 3 2 1 you take a breath in and on the exhale the number 5 a breath in and exhale the number 4 inhale and breathe out the number 3 and so forth and that's going to calm your mind down quite a bit and there you're in alpha one level of relaxation. There's many levels, levels, but once you learn how to relax your mind, more gratitude will come, more creativity will show itself. So you want to be very cognitive of it. Be gentle with yourself. Allow it to flow. Allow for the goodness to come into your awareness just be aware of that everything is good that the trees outside is good the air you breathe be cognitive of it it's such a wonderful world we're in right now stay focused on the good stay focused on what you want to create 
Ignore the other stuff. Ignore the white noise. Ignore the noise. And just bathe in what you want and get excited about it. And as Jesus said, when he healed people, what did he tell the people once they were healed? Go and tell no one of your healing. So no one would talk you out of your blessing. Don't let anyone talk you out of it. I am Sharon. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, we want to drink something warm. I'm drinking a little tea. It's, I'm drinking two teas. It's a passion tea and green tea. Delicious. Mm. So good, so good. Also, what I'm, I'm really grateful for, <laughs> I am really grateful for all of this chocolate I'm going to eat. Chocolate is so rich and it's so good and it's full of antioxidants. Now, the chocolate with less sugar is probably the best. So, these are pretty low in sugar and I'm going to enjoy a big old hunk of it. Bye, y'all. I'll see you next time. I'm Sharon. There's many blessings. There's great love for you here. Many blessings to you. All is well. Goodbye for now.